every time we come out here, it's just about besting each other and seeing what team can come out on top. And tonight, we're really starting to find ourselves in our new formation, and that's what it's all about, because if we couldn't find ourselves in that new formation, then we'll have the same result as we did to them in the second game. So yeah, it's just about finding our chemistry and finding our passing and hopefully getting the result every time. You guys go up one nothing. What's the feeling like there on the on the bench? It's, on the it's a great feeling, especially after starting 1-0 down to them last game. That was our whole goal to come in hot and try and hold that lead. And unfortunately, we suffered a goal in the beginning of the second half. But it was a great it was a great game. You know, Dobson for them uh, scores a pair in like three minutes to go up uh, two to one for them. What uh, you know? How were you guys able to stay in it? We were able to stay in it by just by believing in each other, believing in our coach's system, and and. Luck, I guess, <laughs> wherever the ball lands, and just playing it off that and scoring the goal to tie it up. That was big by Ethan. And then Sanchez PK shootouts, that's always nerve wracking, but I'm glad we get the result. Well, speaking of nerve wracking, what was going through your mind leading up to the moment where you kicked that ball to win it? Don't miss. Don't miss. <laughs> Obviously, what was it like when your teammates are swarming around you like that? It's a great feeling, yeah. I just. We've been going through this and practice this routine for PKs because we knew it would come down to it eventually. And I told them I wanted the fifth spot. and finally worked out for me and then getting that goal. All right, congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. You know, it seems like every time you guys and East get together, it's just uh, another <laughs> classic rivalry game. You know, it's it's kind of enjoyable because uh, Ryan and I can sit and enjoy yeah, what's going on cold. with 22 players. You know, in this case, two full teams out on the pitch in, in post, oh, yeah, post game that. shootout. That's always a, a monster emotion that, uh, right in the middle of the field. You know, you feel good and you feel bad for this whole episode. Can't there be a better way to end something? But we actually enjoyed it back and forth. And, uh, you know, uh, we we kind of were at peace that, that, you know, this is good. And uh, that's really a, a nice thing that uh, you don't always see. And I'm stepping outside being one of these two that orchestrated this. but. Yeah, we just came together and we sat there and we watched uh, the whole thing from start to finish, talking about the problems of shooting, uh, being a shooter, and who all of a sudden backed down, who's going to shoot and never has scored, and, and he's shooting. And, uh, you know, we kind of enjoyed that. Um, but regardless of the shootout, um, you know, when you score the first goal in these kind of games uh, it's it's pretty big and pretty special but uh, I think that's uh, something that East and Central have in their profile that they, they never stop trying to produce something you know and uh, man we were caught short-handed uh, you know five minutes two goals already I didn't understand the second one it was a tough call uh, a real judgment call against my keeper that brought that penalty kick and uh, and then for the guys to hang in there and, and uh, they're falling apart and getting pretty tired really from yesterday and the emotion of it all uh, to give up two goals so I really commend uh, the captains for keeping the t team going forward you know and and Ethan Mathis uh, if he isn't the best player in the state he certainly is in that uh, really short list of uh, not only a leader, but uh, man, he's a go-to kid, you know, that uh, our captains, first and second captains, uh, Jaden gave him that ball and uh, he put away a very, very classy finish to tie this. So uh, it's back and forth. Uh, these kids enjoy it, but uh, at the end, they're, they're teammates eventually, you know, and that's what I used to do all the time. When we had an under 18 or 19 team, I'd, I'd take East and Central kids together and we'd go to club and travel into Omaha and up to Minnesota. And uh, I think that is a part that these kids still remember. Even though they're not there and, and we're not doing it anymore, you know, uh, it's just too hard to recruit 18 year olds anymore and spend money during their last season and in the summer. You know, yeah. Hazard told me that uh, his thought process going into that PK was don't miss. Uh, were you nervous at all? You know, watching him line up for that. Well, you know, <coughs> Hazard uh, <coughs> is uh, scoring a goal. First of all, I think it still remains the most difficult uh, moment in sport, in our sport, is from soccer. And when you get a kid who uh, Hazard hasn't scored a goal in his career in high school, he has today in the conference play. He had more. Uh, assist than anybody in the conference. Nine
nine assists. Seven were primary, two were secondary. Uh, but in this game, the last two times to goal were both exciting, closed down shots that uh, Nate had. And both of them, it took a championship keeper to have the right angle and then have the presence to have the technical skill and that's what Watson did to catch both of them or bobble them a little bit but make the saves and that's how that game ended so with Hassert the fifth kicker for the win I, I said to Ethan Richter I said wait a minute we can't let him take the fifth shot he's not He's a kid that never scores. If he didn't score this time, we may lose him. He may exit the planet. <laughs> Greatest response. Ethan taps me right away, taps me on the chest and says, smiles and says, we got this covered, coach. We got this covered. So, you know, that spirit of uh, being loose when it's really tight, they did that. And, uh, it was a joy when I, I said, don't watch Hassard, watch Hassard. And I just enjoyed and thought, he's got such a sweet swing at the ball. Let's just end this and let this, please, soccer gods, can you just give the kid an opportunity to clean it up? So we're blessed to have, uh, it's tough to coach attitudes, but we're blessed that uh, there's something in life that gives you a second chance and tells you, you know, you belong, you know, despite uh, despite a miss in, in this sport, you know, sometimes we make the fight bigger than what it is. But this was a great moment for, uh, for us to be able to score first, come back, which we haven't done. Against Laramie, we didn't do it. Um, you know, in the last game we played against these, of course, was uh, uh, an own goal, you know, that divided that in games. So this was a nice response. I thought we were cooked and on our knees. And uh, there was still quite a fight that kept going between the way.